Hello dearies and dudes and welcome back to the Coffee Corner. My name is Snyderman and I know what you're thinking. Why has that silly little man not taken down his Christmas tree yet? Yeah, because that's totally what you're thinking, right? No, none of this. None of this has your attention at all. No, no, not at all. <laughs> uh, but really, I hope that you had a great New Year's. I hope that 2021 has been treating you well so far, far after the dumpster fire that was 2020. And here's what I want you to do. Comment down below. Tell me what is your New Year's resolution for 2021? Or do you believe in New Year's resolutions? More on that in a moment. Uh, but yeah, my week this week has been has been really kind of laid back. It was the last week uh, for Christmas break. So actually, by the time you are seeing this, by the time this video is going up, I'm actually at work right now, getting ready for students to come back tomorrow. So yeah, go me. Don't know that I'm really ready to go back to work, but I do miss the students. I miss seeing them every day. So it'll be good to be back in the classroom and teaching them uh, but for the most part, my week has been, like I said, laid back. We hung out with Killian for a few days. Uh, we watched a couple things on Netflix. We're kind of binge watching, um, Designated Survivor. If you have not seen Designated Survivor on Netflix, that is something that you have to have to go see because it is perfect. Um, basically the premise of the story uh, is you have a government official. He's like the secretary of, of housing and urban development. And he's chosen as the designated survivor. Basically what that means is if something happens to the government, he's the guy that steps up and is in charge. Um, and let's just say a lot happens to the government in this show. And he becomes president of the United States due to world shenanigans again designated survivor on netflix i highly recommend shauna and i have been binge watching that uh go watch it it's fantastic um i've also been playing a lot of call of duty you might have seen my short video uh that i put out as a little montage compilation type thing uh just me playing by myself on online as some call of duty if you're willing to hop on Call of Duty and want to be on a video with me, uh, just chat at me. My social media links are down below. You can send me a message. We can probably work something out. So I've been playing a little bit of that, uh, playing Valhalla and Spyro. I finished Spyro this week. So with Spyro, here's what's going to happen. There is, I believe, four videos left of Spyro. Um, I think I'm on like episode 13 right now. 13 just posted yesterday, I think. Uh, and then I have four more. So what that means is there's going to be two Spyro videos that release throughout the week. And then this upcoming weekend, so Saturday and Sunday, the last two episodes of the Spyro Reignited Trilogy are going to be released on Snyderman Inc. That's kind of sad when you think about it because I've learned a lot uh, about basically being a YouTuber from my Spyro videos. Um, the Spyro videos are the ones that taught me probably the most about editing. Uh, <laughs> realistically, those videos and the crash videos um, are the ones that kind of I spend the most time editing and going through. Uh, so yeah, they they taught me a lot. Uh, so it's going to be kind of sad. We're kind of closing a chapter on the channel next weekend with the end of Spyro. Uh, very, very sad, actually, to think about. I haven't felt this way about finishing a series since uh, we finished Yes, Your Grace. And Yes, Your Grace was the very first series uh, that we finished together on this channel. Maybe I'll do a montage or a short video of Yes, Your Grace. Hmm. Let me know what you think. Um... But yeah, Spyro is going to be ending, so that leads into the future. What does Snyderman Inc. have in store for 2021? 
And this is where we circle back to the resolutions conversation. I am not a guy, not a person that believes in resolutions. I have seen New Year's resolutions fail time and time again. I have been victim of failed resolutions uh, plenty of times. So I just don't do them. <laughs> I believe in goal setting. I believe in planning. I do that with my teaching. I do that with uh, my channel. I do that with everything. I set goals. I don't say, I don't set myself up for, I need to be here by the end of the year. I just, I set goals for myself. And it's no different with this channel. I have goals. I think that by Christmas, 250 subs for this channel is realistic. Some, cheesy looking at you, buddy, are going to say that 250 seems a bit low. But for me, I think 250 is realistic. Um, I, I don't know if this channel is going to blow up. I don't know if this video is going to go viral or my next video is going to go viral or whatever. Um, so yeah, 250 by Christmas is kind of my, my shot that I'm calling 250 by Christmas. Um, and when it comes to future series, I just got a couple things planned. I got, uh, Call of Duty. I started the campaign, uh, actually this weekend. So those videos are going to be coming out when we're done with Spyro. So, not this week, but next week. We're going to be starting uh, more of the Call of Duty uh, videos. I'll probably do some multiplayer stuff uh, with that as well. So those will be some odd videos every once in a while. Uh, obviously, we're going through Valhalla still. And then I I really don't know 100% what I'm going to do after that. Um, I got Assassin's Creed 3 that I want to do. Uh, I'm going to bring that to the channel at some point. Um, I know of a couple things that I'm excited about for 2021, a couple games that are coming out. The first is Spyro 4. Now, I struggle saying that that's going to come to the channel in 2021 because it hasn't been confirmed yet. Hmm. Hard for me to say that we're bringing it in 2021 uh, when it hasn't been confirmed. But if Spyro 4 comes out this year, absolutely I'm jumping on that. Because why not? We've rocked through all three games. Uh, just like with Crash, we rocked through all three of those games. Then we played 4. We're going to show Spyro the same love if he gets a fourth game. Which... Rumor has it that it's a very big possibility. Toys for Bob has put a lot of stuff out there regarding uh, Spyro 4 recently. There's been a few Easter eggs in Crash 4 that people have dug up. So we'll definitely jump on some Spyro 4 if that happens. But one thing that we are definitely, definitely going to do for 2021, and I'm really, really excited, uh, is... Mass Effect Legendary Edition. The All three Mass Effect games. I keep doing this. I don't know why. All three Mass Effect games have been remastered and are going to be released sometime early to mid-2021. I've seen March release dates. I've seen June release dates. Uh, I think I even saw like a few places that said maybe April. Um... Either way, in 2021, we are definitely getting Mass Effect Legendary Edition, and so that's going to be the next trilogy that comes to the to Snyder Man Inc. That will be the next trilogy that you and I play together on this channel. We will go through that together as a very happy family. Um, but that leads us to something interesting. I have ordered a new webcam. It should be here within a week or so. I have also ordered a USB like box. Basically, uh, it's something that extends your USB ports. It gives you more of them. Uh, so I have that coming as well. I picked that up from uh, Best Buy and had some Christmas money. So I figured why not. 
but because I have that equipment coming, I've been getting the itch. I've been talking to Big Cheesy a lot over the break, and I've been jumping on his live stream, chatting with him, and we've actually uh, been talking a lot about our channels and kind of what what we're going to be doing and kind of what we want to go with uh, for our channels. And I'm really, really toying with the idea of live streaming. I don't know if that's going to be a thing that I do. Um, I definitely know I wouldn't be able to commit to it regularly. So it's not like you would be seeing a live stream every day or every other day or any of that. Uh, I'm, I'm just too busy. My students uh, need me more than, than that. So I can't commit to uh, a, a every day or every other day live stream, but maybe every weekend, maybe every other weekend. I don't know. Um, but I'm thinking live streaming is coming soon. I think I, I, again, I'm not, not sure if live streaming does happen on this channel. I got my first one or two planned out. First one, Wolf Among Us. I promised you from the poll that I would play all those games that were on the last poll. So it was Valhalla, Assassin's Creed 3, definitely going to do that. Wolf Among Us and Outlast. Wolf Among Us would be perfect for streaming. It would be absolutely perfect. Uh, because each episode takes about an hour or two to get through. It's not too terribly long to get through a chunk of the game. And I think there's only like five or six in the Wolf Among Us. So if we were to stream like every Saturday or Sunday or every other Saturday or Sunday. Or every other Saturday and Sunday. Then that would be a good a good game to go with. So if I stream, that will probably be the first one. And then I nerded out because I saw that not only is Lego Hobbit on the PlayStation Store, but the Lego Hobbit game is also fairly cheap. So there is a very good possibility that you'll be seeing some Lego Hobbit on Snyder Man Inc. because I love Lord of the Rings. Um, I love that whole that that whole thing. Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, love it. I own all the books. I own the extended editions of all the movies. I'm a nerd, is what I'm telling you. Nerd, nerd. Yeah, yeah, huge nerd. Not just a history nerd. Also a big Lord of the Rings nerd. So chances are there's going to be some Lord of the Rings type stuff that is going to come out eventually um, on this channel. Live stream, maybe not live stream. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that that's about it. So yeah, I really enjoy these little videos because not only do I get to word vomit to you, but I feel like I don't get a chance to just sit and chat with you. And that's something that Cheesy uh, has said about live streaming is that he likes the connection that he's able to have with more more of his viewers. And so that's kind of pulling me that direction. Um, but we'll see if I can get that going and get that set up. I Again, I don't know if that's something I even want to commit to. Um, that might be like a second job, which is not not really something I want to do. Um, <laughs> but streaming big potential big potential um but i've rambled enough with that leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not already leave me a comment down below it lets me know what you're loving on the channel all my social media links are in the description below as well so feel free to follow me on those um hello to all you new people by the way i haven't said that yet uh hi how are you have a great day. We'll see you.